Hello. This is my Craftsman 10 horsepower, 29 inch wide snow thrower. The bucket is actually uh, 30 inches wide by 20 inches tall. It has a 12 inch impeller. The handlebars go to an astonishing 3 feet 8 inches tall. So just under 4 inches under 4 feet high on the handlebar. So this machine is really good for a taller individual. It has the uh, larger fat snow treaded snow hog car aisle 16 by 650-8 tires with great tread. The machine is in immaculate condition, both cosmetically and mechanically, as it was hardly used. You have six forward speeds, two reverse. You have the joystick up here to move the chute back and forth, as well as the lever to control throw depth. You have the mechanism down here for single hand operation. So you have to let go of either side of these, as you can see, and that frees up the hand, one of your hands to control your speed, throwing distance, and direction of throw while in motion. It's got a 10 horsepower, 358 cc Tecumseh Snow King engine. Okay, um, like I said, machine is immaculate. It is an excellent machine for throwing snow. It is pristine mechanical condition. Belts are in excellent condition. Friction disc is in excellent condition. Oil is fresh. Fuel is fresh. Everything on it is in perfect condition. It's ready to go. As you can see by it, right? Nice big heavy duty front gearbox, steel serrated augers with the um, shear bolts. So if you were ever to hit something, they just break so this way it doesn't damage the gearbox. Again, a mammoth 12 inch impeller. Uh, this machine will throw snow up to 45 feet with this big powerful engine. Great traction with these nice big fat tires. As you can see, the footprint on them are excellent. It's Craftsman model 536.886350. It's an HMSK 100 Tecumseh 10 horsepower. Um, what else is there to mention? Um, like I said, it, it, uh, I'm a little short for this machine, but it's really great for a taller individual. But, you know, I'm 5'5", five five and I can use it just fine. But like I said, for the taller individual out there who was looking for a machine uh, that they could use where the handlebars were nice and high for them, this is great for someone like that. So, uh, this would be perfect for them. Um, good centered headlight up front here, so you can see at nighttime. Um, and now I'll go ahead and start it up for you. Choke, prime it. It has electric start. I'm not using it right now. Recoil starts easy enough, but it does have the electric start. Just to keep that in mind. Let it warm up for a second. Grab a pair of clamps so you can see the auger in motion.
first gear. On top of that, it has one wheel and two wheel drive. This pin right here, if you stick it into this hole, it allows you to put this in two wheel drive for full traction when needed. Otherwise, you take the pin and put it in the outer hole. That gives you one wheel drive to turn it easy. The skid shoes are in excellent condition. As you can see, they face inward on this bucket and they're right there. The scraper bar is in excellent condition and goes right down to it's set to be just above the pavement, so this way it'll clear the snow right down to the pavement. If you need to p clear um, rocks, you just raise the skid shoes up and then it'll go over the rocks. Um, this machine retailed roughly for around 1500 I will be selling it for a fair price. Um, it was built very well and it's a real solid heavy duty machine. Thank you for taking the time to look at my machine. Have a good day.